All right, so today I want to talk to you about a very, very important topic about commitment and how commitment can either make or break you. Hi, I'm Rano of Life Stylized, and in today's video, as I already said, we're going to get deeper on commitment. And there's three things that I learned about commitment that's really, really important. When you commit to something, it's important that you follow that through. If you don't, not only does it hurt the others around you that, that you haven't um, fulfilled your, your commitment to them, but it also hurts your internal game and the way that you show up to yourself because now when you make new commitments, you have this underlying inside part of you that doesn't fully believe you. So over time, that slowly starts to degrade and wear away at your own ability to trust yourself, which makes it really, really challenging to actually commit to new things. And then it starts to show up, at least in my life, it's shown up in so many different ways. When I haven't followed through on a commitment, it's popped up in different areas and it makes it look like it may be something else, but it actually turns out to the underlying confidence and my ability to trust myself, the integrity that I have, and all of those things. So here are three really simple tips that you can use right now in your life to make your commitments the strongest they can. The first tip is when you commit to something, make sure that you have the time, the space, and the energy to actually fully commit to it so that you can see that project or that commitment fully through from beginning to end in its entirety. The second tip is if you can't, then this is your opportunity. You can actually decommit to something. And that means having a conversation with other parties involved and saying, hey, listen, I overdid things. I, I don't have enough space in my schedule. So I need to decommit from this particular aspect in my life. Um, and I'm wondering if we can come up with an, another way that I can commit to this. The third one is to recommit. So if you've already made a commitment beforehand and here you are again and you're like, oh man, I really didn't get that done. You can either choose to decommit or you can recommit to that previous commitment that you made and, and bring back up that integrity inside yourself, bring that part of you forward and allow yourself to step into that next space for yourself. So there's three things that you can do when making a commitment. You can one, commit to it. So that's the first one. You can decommit to something. If you've already made a commitment that you can't do anymore and it's so helpful in your life, it's amazing how much that just frees up. And number three, you can recommit to a commitment that you've already had before that you just haven't been able to fully embrace and get to. So I hope you found this very, very helpful. If you can, post your comments below. Tell me about something that you have to decommit from or something that you need to recommit to. Maybe your health or maybe something else. But post your comments below. I love to hear what you have to say about this topic. When I use the, those three commitment types, they really help me in my life and I would love to hear how they help you in yours. All right, till next time, I'm Rano, Life Stylized. We'll talk to you soon.